So I made a community post the other day asking if anyone wanted to hear my side hustle while working my 9 to 5. And I know that many of you are going to think that I'm going to say it's YouTube, but truth be told, I'm not even monetized as yet. I'm close, but not yet. So my side hustle is selling jewelry online and I know that some of you might think you have the concept and everything all figured out but hold up. I would encourage you to continue watching because I'm going to give the details for my 1000 subscribers giveaway so if you're interested you can continue watching but if you are not interested hit that like button before you leave. <laughs> Welcome and welcome back to your girl's channel. It's a girl Lika. For those of you who are new to my channel, first thing, go ahead and subscribe. Now back to what I was saying. For people who actually want to hear the full story, you know how I got started, what motivated me to get started, where I get uh, my products, where I got my source of inspiration, you know absolutely everything like that just sit back relax and watch the full video guys i genuinely like to share websites that help you make money online like that is a true passion for me all that research but because us getting a job is solely depend on someone else's opinion like that can absolutely deter us from actually getting the job and that is why i will always emphasize that for those of you who are business minded please do yourself a favor and start your small business i started off my online based jewelry store with less than five thousand jamaican dollars and that is equivalent to around 32 us dollars or somewhere thereabout but that is what i started with which means the startup cost is very low and another good thing about it is the fact that jewelry is lightweight so you know that when you are shipping products to jamaica they charge you based on the weight of the package now even if i order let's say 20 um, necklaces or whatsoever when the box actually comes the box only weighs like two pounds or so so and um, depending on which shipping company you use that is less than 1000 jamaican dollars to clear now what drove me to start selling online one the prices of things are always going up and i will forever be traumatized when i enter a supermarket with ten thousand dollars and i leave with less than a bag like one of those shopping bags guys that hurts because you spend so long trying to accumulate that little money and in the split of a second, all of that is gone. I will always be traumatized by that. So for one is my fear of not being able to afford the things that I need. Secondly, I'm a person who absolutely loves to save because I really like to see the zeros in my bank account. It looks just so nice right in there. But the truth be told, my 9 to 5 was just not 9 to 5 in. I don't know if you understand, but you know, I wasn't getting the kind of results that I had expected. And one of the things that I realized that I started doing just to save back some money in my pocket was to cut down on absolutely every single thing. So I would cut down on how much money I spend on groceries, how much money I spend um, for paying fear. Guys, I know this sounds ridiculous, but even fear, I tried to cut down on how much I had to spend on fear just to save back some money in my pocket so all of that it was just you know when I when I thought about all of that it just made me <sighs> thirdly is the fact that I want to be free to visit my friends and family when I feel like now guys for one person who the only obligation that I have is just student loan like no children or anything of that sort I feel like I already have four kids and I don't even know. It just always seemed weird how at the end of the month I usually had nothing. Another thing that made me realize that I needed to start a side hustle is the fact that I did not have any emergency funds. Now for me, when I think about emergency funds, I always picture this in my mind. What if the company that I work with God forbid. Yes, but what if the company that I was working with laid me off or decided that Miss Boucher, 
you are no longer a member of our company. Like, what would I do? How long would I be able to survive before I got a different job? So for me, having an emergency fund should last me up to six months if I lose my job or if something tragic like that should happen before I get a different position. But because what I was earning, most of it just went back into bills, it was very hard for me to start saving my emergency fund. When I thought about all of that and I realized that I was expecting to meet all of those needs, just working my 9 to 5, I'm like, damn, I am playing the game wrong. Like, I need to switch something up. I need to change something. So that led me to start thinking, how on earth would I be able to not just pay my bills, but also live like, how would I get that money? And this is when I got the idea to create my own income. And when I say that, I mean that I decided on the amount of money that I wanted to have at the end of each month. And the figure that I had, I subtracted my salary from that figure. And then whatsoever that was left, I decided that this is the amount that I want to at least make online to actually meet the amount that I think would allow me to live comfortably each month. So for example, if I believe that earning $140,000 per month, just an example, if I believe that earning $140,000 per month would allow me to live comfortable, if my current salary was, let's say $120,000, let's, let's put that that. So what I would basically do is subtract my salary from the $140,000, which would leave $20,000. Now, if I could find a way to make just $20,000 each month, then I believe that that would have made me live comfortably. So where did I get my inspiration from? So I got my inspiration from two other persons that I also do YouTube with that have their online stores. And I also have a coworker who sells um, bath and body work products online. So being in that circle and you know having persons who were actually making money online already through their small business, that led me to start thinking about doing something like that on my own and truth be told when i was just starting out even even up to this point i don't know a lot about selling online but what i basically did was replicate what they were already doing to get the same results or even if i don't get the same results i get something similar to that and then i went online and started to do my research nothing professional just a small observation of other small business owners in jamaica so i looked at how their customers were interacting with you know each of the photos of jewelry that they posted and then i decided to create my own page and started to be in my following base. I still have a small following base, but I do get sales, which I am grateful for. Now, where did I get my products? Now, prior to this, I have always shopped online, so it was nothing new for me. So I get my products globally, and then if there is a case wherein you know I have to wait on any shipment to arrive, I just go to downtown Kingston and I buy things that I can sell on my store in the meantime because Truth be told, downtown Kingston, Jamaica is one of the places that you can get the most wholesale prices. And there are also some jewelry stores online that sell wholesale jewelry, jewelry on Instagram. So if you guys are interested in that as well, you guys can go ahead and search for something like hashtag wholesale jewelry, JA, something of that sort, and you'll see them popping up. So drum roll, ding, 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 the moment that you guys have been waiting for, I know my 1,000 subscribers giveaway, you know, guys, I know that I'm basically at 1,500 subscribers now, but what I'm trying to do is that each time I achieve another milestone, I celebrate the previous milestone. I know it sounds weird, but um, this one kind of just caught up on me, but I think going forward, I'm going to do something like that. So I was going to choose just one person to be the lucky winner of 100 US dollars. And then it clicked to me, why have one winner when you can have four? So what I will be doing is that I will be sharing that $100 into four. Each person get $25. 
So for the curious, to enter, you must be subscribed to my channel, liked and commented on two other videos. And in regards to this specific video, you need to comment the country that you are watching from as well as your name. The money will be paid via PayPal and the winners will be announced on the 25th of March. But the cutoff time for the competition is the 23rd of March. So I will be cutting off anybody else that comments after that. It's no longer relevant after the 23rd. And then the winners will be announced on the 25th. And I will comment underneath the winner's um, comments so that they can know that, yes, they were the winner. Yay! Guys, I know that it is not a lot, but it is my small way of showing my appreciation to all the people across the globe who have supported me thus far. Now, moving on, how do I deliver my products? Now, guys, the best way to deliver products throughout the country, as in Jamaica, I'm not certain about other countries who might be watching this video as well but for Jamaica the best way is through the post office and through a service that is called Nuts for the Express. I'm not certain if it is available in your country or whatsoever but in Jamaica it is. So how has it been so far? Truth be told it has not been easy for me but I am willing to learn from anybody who is more experienced from me and that is why I love the fact that Shanika and Yannick they are more experienced than me because Shanik, she sells rings online, so basically jewelry as well, while Yannick sells clothes online, so both of them are better able to advise me so I can know what to do if I ever get stuck. And as I explained earlier, I am still in a learning phase, so I don't know absolutely everything, but I will give you guys an update on my store. And as I said, yes, I'm making sales so far, despite the fact that I don't have a huge following base. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I post next time. Until then, I am out. Bye.